Are you looking for a free alternative to Microsoft Office 365 suite of applications? Then stick around. I've got you covered. I am not against purchasing software, let me be clear. I have no problem paying for software and supporting the developers. What I don't like is how in today's landscape, everything is a subscription service. You can't just purchase a piece of software in a lot of cases. How many subscription services can you manage before there's so many you forget what you're paying for and now you've got annual and monthly subscriptions coming out of your bank account for stuff you don't even use? Trust me, I've been there and done that. I haven't been to Costco in three years, yet each year I get hit for the annual membership fee and I think, oh man, I need to cancel that. And then I forget about it for another year. Then make a note, I should do that right after this video. But maybe you're just getting ready to start school. Maybe you're getting ready to start a new work from home job. You need some office suite now, and you don't have the money to start an expensive subscription service. I get it. I have made it my mission on this channel to bring you free and open source alternatives that are every bit as good, and in some cases better than the paid services. And true to form, I'm not gonna give you a big list of applications to choose from. There are plenty out there. Sometimes you don't want options. Sometimes you just want somebody to tell you what to do. So today, we're talking about LibreOffice, a free and open source Office application that is compatible with Office 365. That's right. If you already have documents on your computer from work or school that you created with Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, you can open and edit them in LibreOffice. So, I'll break down LibreOffice, tell you all about it, show you where to go get it from, show you how to install it, show you how to set it up. Let's get into it. LibreOffice is a free and open source office suite that's available for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and even mobile platforms like Android and iOS. It comes packed with everything you need to handle documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and more, all without the hefty price tag of other office software. LibreOffice offers six key applications, including Writer, your go-to for word processing. It's perfect for everything from simple letters to complex books with indexes and bibliographies. It is an alternative for and compatible with Microsoft Word. Calc is a powerful spreadsheet tool for both casual users and data analysts. Calc makes a solid alternative and is compatible with Microsoft Excel. If you have an existing spreadsheet that was created using Excel, you can open and edit it in Calc. Impress is the LibreOffice tool for crafting engaging presentations with features like customizable templates and transition effects. It also supports Microsoft PowerPoint formats so you can share files seamlessly. Draw is a versatile drawing tool used for creating diagrams, flowcharts, and vector graphics. It can handle technical drawings and can be used to create detailed illustrations. Base is a database management system similar to Microsoft Access that lets you create, manage, and manipulate databases. It's perfect for both small and large databases, supporting tools like SQL for advanced users. And finally, LibreOffice Math is a tool for creating and editing mathematical formulas. Whether you're writing equations for a paper or adding formulas to a spreadsheet, math simplifies complex expressions. LibreOffice isn't just feature-packed. It also respects your privacy. With tools like the ability to remove personal information upon saving and secure ODF encryption, your data remains your own. And if accessibility is important, recent updates make the suite even friendlier for users with different needs. What makes LibreOffice truly special is its community. Hundreds of developers and volunteers from around the world contribute to its development. This means that every update is shaped by real users who care about making the best Office software possible. Remember, LibreOffice is free and open source. You should always consider making a small donation of money or time. Okay, now that you know what LibreOffice is about, let's go get it downloaded, set it up, and check it out. Let's go. Head on over to Google and type in LibreOffice. Click the first link shown here. From the LibreOffice homepage, 
click download here at the top and then click download LibreOffice. From the LibreOffice download page, click the drop down to select your operating system. Then click the yellow download button. You will see the download start in the top right corner of my browser. Once complete, click on it to start the LibreOffice installation. Once the installer window appears, you can go ahead and close out your browser window. Next, the installation wizard will begin. Go ahead and click Next. In the setup type window, you can leave typical selected. I always choose custom when I'm installing software for the first time, just to make sure there's no unwanted software being added. However, I've installed LibreOffice several times and it is safe from extra junk we don't need. Go ahead and click next. On this screen, I'm going to leave the box selected to create a desktop icon and then click install. Once the installation starts, you will likely get the user control window here. Select yes and the installation will proceed. You can see a shortcut to LibreOffice just appeared on my desktop, almost done. Once the installation wizard completes, click finish, and now we are ready to take a look at LibreOffice. Go ahead and double click the LibreOffice icon that's now located on your desktop. Once LibreOffice opens, you will see open file in the top left corner. Remember, LibreOffice is compatible with Microsoft's Office 365 applications, so if you have a document you created in Word or Excel previously, you can open and edit them in LibreOffice. Below that, you will see the applications included in LibreOffice, Writer, is your word processing application, Calc is your spreadsheet application, and Impress is for presentations. There are additional applications, but these are the three most common. There you have it, a free and open source suite of Office applications that's an alternative to Office 365. Do me a favor, if you found this video helpful, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel doesn't cost you a thing, but it helps me tremendously with that YouTube algorithm. They will push my video out to more people and I can continue bringing you content on a weekly basis just like this. Go check out some of these other videos now that you have an office application. You could probably use a really good free PDF editor. I've got you covered. Thanks for watching and until next time.